I'm Patrick. This is another Ask Patrick series where students ask me questions and I try to answer to my best of my ability. Now, this question is asked by partial grief and asked about two people. Your question is how do I get along with geometry? So vast, so complicated, so difficult. I found geometry difficult in my school itself. How do I get along with geometry? And the fact that you cannot leave it for option because there are four or five sums that come in the exam makes it even more difficult. So how do I prepare for geometry? I get along. I understand that. I'm geometry. There are a lot of questions in geometry which are tough. I agree with you. And the number of concepts that are there in the book are vast. No doubt about it. But from what I've seen, a lot of concepts which are there in the book are quite useless. I mean, never come in the exam. So a lot of theories, a lot of applications in the books which are there in your cat notes for geometry is not required as far as the examination. A lot of people learn those concepts, but they never come in the exam. So one thing is, whenever you come across a theory in geometry, the first question to ask is, was there in the school? If it was there in the school, yes, then maybe that could be important. If no, then not. Second way to understand what is normally coming in the exam is go back to the past geometry questions that have come in the exam. So that will help you also to understand what is important and what is not. People who have access to my video course, can go to the video course where I explain geometry every topic wise in terms of what is important and you can skip what is not important. So that's one thing. Know what is there important, what is not important or what you should study, what you should not study. There's no point studying extra for the examination. It will just give you the purpose. A lot of people say there's no harm in studying extra. There is. The harm is that when you study extra, your mind is clogged with a lot of information and then you don't know what to apply where. That is the same problem with mugging up our formulas. A lot of information ensures that you don't know what to apply where. There is no point studying extra. Study what is required for the exam and that is what is important. Okay. So the first step, as I said, is know what is important. If you feel you find geometry difficult, go back to your school books. We also teach you from the fundamentals. So go to the geometry in your school books, study that and that will help you to create the fundamentals as far as geometry is concerned. Okay, now you have learned geometry basics, fundamentals, sex, application. Know some techniques and tricks that you can apply for geometry. Okay? There are. There are some techniques which will help you to solve things faster. There are some common ways where you can do things in a particular method. One normal thing that I normally use in the actual exam and where I have explained the videos is something called approximation. So you can always approximate saying that this possibly could be the value. Look at the options, eliminate the options which are not very close to the value. Sometimes only one answer is left. You can mark that answer and move forward. It has worked for me so many times in the exam. If, not, if there are not one option left, maybe you can eliminate two options also. It still gives you a hint for the question. So this is approximately, I know these two options are not there. These two options are possible. So can I substitute back and try? Or which of these two options I can eliminate further by going more accurate. So try these techniques. It works in geometry at least. I've seen it works in the examination. But unfortunately, people don't want to approximate and therefore they don't try. And if you don't try, you'll never become good at it. It's one thing. There are other techniques which are there which you can maybe try and improve on geometry. But yes, what I've seen is geometry definitely improves with practice. Please practice. Practice on a regular basis geometry. Don't be scared about it. Don't get into too, I mean, too much of a, too much in concept which are not required. Just understand the fundamentals, understand what is to be applied and I think that should suffice as far as examination is concerned. If required, go back to your past cat questions from geometry, that will give you hints. There have been cases where geometry questions were very tough. I remember one specific year, I mean, I think cat 16, where geometry was really, really tough in the exam. But no one could solve it, so it doesn't matter. But most of the time that geometry that comes in the examination are solvable and based on fundamental aspects about CAT. If you can do that, it should help. Thank you.